over here at our flatbed molding table where we've got some wax cooling and hardening in the mold. Another recipe for Crayola crayons actually dates all the way back to 1903, and it still uses the same three basic ingredients, a non-toxic paraffin wax that gets mixed with high quality clay and a bunch of different colors that we call pigments. And today, we're using a red pigment, just like you, Scarlet. <laughs> then I suppose me too. And some of the same pigments used to make Crayola crayons are used in everyday things. Like what? Like yellow school buses and red fire engines. Where's Martez? Is the wax ready now? Looks like it. And I can tell because the wax has shrunk a little bit while it was cooling. Now that shrinking creates a small hollow spot in the middle of each crayon that actually helps to make it stronger. Is something wrong, Turk? I'm hollow inside? I can't see. I think I need an x-ray machine. You're doing fine, Turk, but you are getting ahead of us. Now at the real factory, each crayon does pass through an x-ray and a metal detector. But at the very end, that's just to make sure that there's nothing in them that really shouldn't be there. Check this out. This is an x-ray of me and Cousin Brown. He has a lot more pigments in his color, so he shows up a lot darker. Cool! So where are the newborn crayons down there? Are they hiding? You could say that. I just have to get rid of this top layer of wax and we'll be able to see them. Now back when manufacturing first started, workers like me had to scrape all the wax off by hand. But now we have machines through before us, so I just have to take 